Yeah, I mean, my favorite thing about OpenNet has just been the people that are here. Um, you know, they they make every day a lot more interesting, and it's uh, it's just a great a great set of people to work with. No one has been kind of too important to be asked a question that I needed help with, and even personally, kind of outside of the day to day, I've made a lot of really close friends since I started here, which has been great. It's the level of freedom we get in our role in order to be able to improve things and the company culture, um, which still feels like uh, a small Irish company um, in a global scale now that we are part of Amdocs. But we still have that agile mindset and um, the speed of um, executing projects um, compared to large multinational companies. I've always really enjoyed the uh, mindset of people willing to down whatever they're doing to help someone else. I was blown away from it very early on uh, by a couple of individuals when I first joined, where I was only like doing training courses and I got help from a guy who turned out to be one of the busiest guys in OpenNet, but he sat down at me for three days. Uh, like, like, and throughout my uh, time in OpenNet, that has just always been the, the way the way it is is everybody has gone through so much in the company it's been like a family that people will just drop what they're doing to jump over and help you and I, that element of the culture um, I, I would say is my favorite part of it. Um, my favorite thing about working at OpenNet is probably the people that I work with the the team they're great support but it's it's not just the the supportive side of things we also have good crack and banter um, and and. The, one of the other exciting things is what's coming down the road. Um, so we, we know that there's already talks of 6G. So it's not just of the 5G side of things that is currently out there. Um, we, we obviously still have legacy item uh, stuff from 3G, 4G, 5G is out there now and 6G is coming. So it's the, the, the excitement of what is to come and OpenNet are one of the leaders in 5G in the world. So we, we do have that advantage over other companies. We are one of the leaders. We are the first to get all the software out in, in the, the live domains with end users using it. My favorite thing about working in OpenNet is definitely everything that I've learned so far. I genuinely, between, between anything I've done in college, between anything I've done in school, any other job that I've been in, I've definitely learned the most that I've learned in any other organization that I have in OpenNet. Literally from day one coming in the door, the amount of things that I've learned from the hiring managers that I've been working with, the directors that I've been working with, they've just been so willing to, to give you a helping hand and they actually want to see you progress. They, it's not just about you getting the work done. They literally do actually care about you as an employee and you progressing within your role or even. I like the feeling of not being under pressure, you know, but, but, but have things to do. The reason why is because you can deliver. And, and that's me personally. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a person that is moved on by recognition a lot. For me, the fact that I do something for someone and and it's recognized, it moved me, you know, it kind of give me energy. It's like, a, wow, someone has said thanks. Someone has said, this is a great job, things like that, you know? So that motivates me a lot. So um, I keep kind of getting involved, integrating um, within the team or within the tasks that need to be done, trying to deliver. And then, yeah, I guess I get this recognition that gets me motivated, uh, motivated every day. The, the main thing for me is the the, the, the challenges, right? So, I, I, as I said, if you're if you if you're continue to do the same thing over and over again, that's when you kind of get get the, you know you get a bit itchy to go and look yeah. somewhere else, a different challenge. But within OpenNet, things have changed, and within telecoms, things have changed from as I said, moving to the service-based interface stuff, moving to the cloud. So that's going from, a ma that's a massive shift, especially telecoms. Like telecoms are so slow moving because obviously if something goes wrong, there's mil millions of customers that are affected, right? And there's revenue affected stuff there, right? So that shift has introduced a whole swathe of new technologies that we never touched three years ago, right? It just keeps the engineers interested. And even within that technology, like we started with Minikube, Kubernetes, we've switched to using Kind, much quicker ways of, of doing things 
um, and just the amount of different technologies that we touch on a day-to-day -day basis keeps it really kind of keeps you keeps you interested right and keeps the days kind of days flowing <laughs>